building. What's that building? Tallest the needle. Building. Tallest building in Shenzhen. Yeah. And what is that needle all about? It's the Ping An. Oh, Ping An. Yeah. Financial tower. Yes. I know somebody there. Okay. An American who runs the innovation and ICT part of Ping An. Okay. So. Uh, and so all the by the green ones are they are they electric buses? Yeah. Yeah. It's all electric buses. All electric Shenzhen. buses. Oh yeah. It's apart from the pri uh, apart from the private ones, they are not always. Uh, this is all electric. All these buses are. You can electric. see that's uh, LG EV2. It's yeah. like. Um, is it BYD who made this? Who yeah, made this? Exactly, BYD. BYD. Okay. BYD, BYD, BYD. They love BYD. All the taxis here, all the, the these taxis are all BYD. Everything is BYD. Yeah. Okay. Also, two green cars. The green number plates are electric. And all these things, a couple of hundred dollars, they're all electric yeah. scooters. So there is a lot of bike sharing here, but there is not electric bike sharing. Although I've seen one on the internet. See, 21,000 electric taxis here. And the buses are still, they're everywhere, but they're uh, twice as expensive as a normal diesel bus. So they're still more expensive. So it's really an investment. You want to know why they invest that money. Why do you think Shenzhen basically thought it was important to do electric buses and electric uh, uh, taxis. Because China, uh, sorry, Shenzhen tried to build up a, a future of the city in yeah. China yeah. and they trying to adopting all this kind of new technologies in this kind of transportation and for people of living. So they are using the cutting edge technology, even the technology is it's not matured yet. No, so these buses are much more expensive, but they do it anyway. They don't and uh, it's good for the environment as well. That's what, what we believe. But is environment important in China for policymakers? Of course, it's more and more important now. Yeah, uh, you can see the policy is shifting, mm -hmm. and uh, we have enforcement of the vehicles to be shifted for fully electric vehicles mm -hmm. in 2035. Oh, in 2035, yep. all vehicles? All vehicles, no petrol or diesel anymore. Oh, and do people, aren't people upset about that? Uh, or is that just... No, it's, it's just never upset. Never, the, Chinese people are never upset? Because of the car makers is already preparing for this one for years. Okay. And the people can see the advantage of, you know, using electric bus. Because yeah. there's no pollution yeah. if you walk through the back of the bus yeah. anymore. Yeah, but and no I, sound, and no sound. Exactly. The sound is better. Yeah, I remember that when you smell, you know, when you stop at the uh, traffic light, you can smell the, the, the diesel of the yeah. coming from the bus station. Is it getting better at, at the air in uh, Shenzhen? Have you noticed that it, be, it improved? I mean, uh, Ch Shenzhen's air uh, pollution and the quality always uh, at the top of China. Oh, and uh, because of the, you know, the green reserve yeah. is being like, enforced by a set to 50% of the city developments. 50% is green yeah, by law? At least. Okay, yeah. so it's the best air quality together with the buses and the, yeah. and the trains and the electric scooters. Yeah. Okay, it's city of the future. So Yan Yan, you come from the city where we're going to, where LSEV were basically, um, they come up with. Why, why did LSEV get developed there? Because it's a rural place. It's not a yeah. very fancy modern place. But there's now 8 million uh, of these LSEVs running around. Uh, because in that particular uh, area of China, most of the population is actually came from the uh, suburbs of the, uh, of the city. Yeah. And uh, over 80% of the people used to be in farming uh, a few years ago. I get a lot of flashing. All these things are flashing. Are those cameras? Yeah, those are cameras. <laughs> okay, lots of cameras, yeah. And the okay. people for, if you people uh, use the ease of access yeah. through the countryside, they have to use very low cost and uh, very small vehicles. Yeah. This is the civic center, where the government is the Civic based. center, oh, there is the rich, the very rich Shenzhen government. Wow, look, this is a great view. 
Okay, so but in your this is where money is. There's a lot of money here. Yeah, but in your, in, your, in your city, there was not much money. Um, so that's why they, they invented those uh, LSE fees there? Yeah, I think it's mostly for the people, uh, for the market really. And the people living in the suburbs, yeah. they're trying to get into the city for their own business, right? Yeah. And that's where they can get the money. And uh, for this reason, they have to use very low cost of the vehicle. They used to driving tricycles and uh, you know three uh, views of the motorbikes. New motorbikes. And yeah. they carry a lot of goods at the back, but it's yeah. not very safe for the three views. Then they, they, they develop something like that, so like a very small one, but oh, yeah. uh, you don't have to register the plate. Yeah. And that's <clears> where the early uh, EV was came from. Yeah, but why there, and why not in the other twenty-eight provinces of? Uh, of um, I mean, they have another province which is next to yeah. Hebei. They yeah. also build up this kind of a manufacturer over there because of the natural demand in this area, and because of the you know the farming industry is very very large in the provinces. That's why they have this kind of an industry. Yeah, and why then? Wasn't it popular because these these cars are really handy? You could also use them here. Uh, yeah, but um, potentially they're not that safe. And uh, the, originally they didn't pass any safety test. No, originally but, because they're um, not legal it's, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but it's getting better and better now. Mm -hmm. but, but because of that, the vehicle can be designed very cheap. Yeah. And that people can be afforded. Yeah. Cool. That's We're gonna see that. Two days from now. Oh, look, that's power. also an electric. Uh, it's also an electric lorry. That's the enforcement in the yeah. city that all the lorries should have electric powered, and between the time of let me think, nine o'clock in the in the morning yeah. and until five o'clock in the evening. Ah. So any lorry or van driving in the city, that has that has to be electric powered. Okay, between what time? Nine o'clock in the morning yeah. to five o'clock at night. They cannot come, uh, if you're diesel, you cannot no. come into the... Uh, okay, so that's you, a very you, simple rule. Yeah, yeah. You, you will be fine. Yeah, yeah. you'll be fine. We love rules here. So why did Shenzhen do this? Is there a particular politician which was very enthusiastic about this? Yeah, because of the system is different from the West. And uh, in China, if you could make a very successful model for the city to be developed yeah. like Shenzhen did for the past 30 years yeah. you're gonna be the center of the I mean political focus so all the leaders generations of the uh, Shenzhen political leaders they're trying to build up something new yeah. now because the technology plays in very important in China so the, the leaders of Shenzhen they trying to use technology as a selling point or as a you know for for the, all the city other things to be followed in yeah. the future and then if you've done that if you come up if you experiment with technology that works you're going to be successful and promoted to the next to the next exactly. job exactly so they are they tend to be more law brave and and yeah. do things before it's easy yeah i'll uh, give you one example the last mayor of shenzhen yeah is that she went to you know xunwan yeah. Went to Hebei province. Uh -huh. He's the what do you call it? The chief governor. The chief governor of Hebei province. Yeah. And uh, because of the successful, uh, successful of Shenzhen for the past ten years. And the success in general, or EV, or uh, the everything in general. Yeah. Uh, actually, he's very famous for his technology use for this uh, urban urbanization uh -huh. cities. Yeah, yeah. And now he's a governor. Yeah, it's a yeah. province governor. The province governor. A, a so the next level, level, and then the next one is the Politburo, or uh, uh, hopefully, yeah. yeah. But uh, he's also in charge of the Xunan New District, which is at the, the area I told you where all the autonomous driving vehicles ah, is okay. playing around. So now he's again doing his uh, his technology thing. Is he good? Was he a good politician? Of course, he's very he's very modest and he's very quiet about his. Um, his job, you know, it's not like you know people who likes to show off. It's not Donald Trump. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do people think? Uh, what do Chinese? What is the general view of Donald Trump? Or is there is there one? Well, it's kind of a kind of a 
we look at a、uh, TV show or comedian, you know, this is kind of a, <laughs> what we feel really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's amazing. Everybody can be president. You can have the black president, or you can have a comedian or、It's、an like、idiot. Yeah. Donald Trump really totally, I mean, changed our mind about being a president, especially a president of America. You know, we totally changed the idea of how that can be. Yeah. yeah. You were amazed. Yeah.、Really. Yeah. Everybody was. <laughs> everybody was. And everybody was appalled. So the criticism he has of with、uh, on China and that the, the, that intellectual property was robbed or that they were not opening the markets or all this criticism he has of China,、mm -hmm. do people take that serious? Of course, we know that the, the, the kind of a problem already exists in China. Yeah, and we know that、uh, part of what he's saying is is true. Uh huh. But I mean. Look at the history of America.、Mm -hmm. Yes, it's all also very similar for the development of of China as well. Really, I mean, look at the the、yeah. first industrial revolution. Yeah, how America, I mean, it's not copied, but you know, I mean, gets a lot of、uh, British engineers to come to America to build up their、uh, industry in、yeah. America. The, Very similar things happen in 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 America as well.、Mm -hmm. Okay, and the, the only difference is we have a different year. We have a different time now.、Mm -hmm. China trying to develop develop their own system. Yeah. So they have to, you know, in a way, to use every method possible to get the things up and running. Yeah. You know? And you of course looked. Did you? Is is the example of Russia? Was that an、uh, an, an example? Which you saw that was more. Do people see that as a as a dangerous example?、Um, it's not dangerous because of the philosophy behind the culture is very different. You know, look back at the history for the last three thousand years of China. Yeah. yeah. People always being very conservative about the development of everything,、mm -hmm. and because we have the, and we've had the mind in, so everything can be destroyed. In the future, if you're not careful, so、yeah. we have doing everything very carefully, very slowly.、Mm -hmm. So the policy changing、uh, from the Bureau of、uh, Governance of China,、mm -hmm. they always making very graduate changes for this kind of economy growth and for everything else. Yeah, But yeah. in Russia, that's totally different <laughs> philosophy of doing that. You know. Yeah, they have big. They made big changes. Yeah, yeah, they have very big changes. Great. Okay, so I like this one. Two buildings connected, and they're next to each other. They're twins.、Yep. So there's another one behind here. See, two sister,、uh, two sister buildings. So a taxi, which is trying to get in front of us, is about one point two. R&B and everybody's trying to get in front,、yeah. in front of us. <laughs> It's like a... even the bus. So here's the bus. They're all they're all getting there. So 1.2 R&B, so about 15 cents per kilometer. So that's pretty cheap. So let's talk about real estate. You know, if you work here and、uh, you're a programmer,、mm -hmm. you know, so you're on a high end. What kind of salary is normal? Um. Uh, I think it's gonna be. Let me see. Gonna have very good salary at start of, like、uh, when you graduate. Yeah. Gonna graduate with、uh, about ten thousand RMB. Ten thousand RMB. Months, months. So about twelve hundred euro. Twelve hundred fifty euro. Yeah. Yeah. Then after three years. Yeah. You're gonna get at least double the salary. Okay, twenty five hundred, and that is before tax. You also have to pay tax. Is it a yeah, lot to pay tax? tax? Is it twenty percent or thirty percent or? Um, I think for this kind of a price, you're gonna pay about fifteen percent. Fifteen percent tax. And after twenty two hundred, oh sorry, twenty thousand, you're、yeah. gonna pay a bit more than that, twenty twenty five. Yeah. Okay. So then I I earn between fifteen hundred and twenty five hundred、uh, euro a, a month. How much do I have to pay for my apartment? Do I have to share an apartment? Do I have to, do yeah, I have to buy it with friends, or, or because how much is rental?、Uh, rental if you want to have an apartment of 
500, 50 meters or something like that, then you want to have that with somebody else. If you live in, in town center area, you're going to pay about at least uh, 7,000 per month. 7,000, okay. For, uh, it's kind of a one bed apartment. Wow, 7,000. So you make 12,000. So you make 12,500 and you have to pay 7,000 yeah. for one so, bedroom. So then it's difficult to share. Yeah. But then you have to go outside the center, so yeah. you have to go and that then... That's what we're yeah. doing now. We yeah. have to go a little bit further by metro. Um, yeah. So commute is about 40 minutes, maybe. 40 minutes. That's uh, very easily to get 40 minutes. Yeah. And, uh, and then you, you pay, pay about, about half of the price. Okay, three and a half thousand. So sometimes you got get um, lower. Yeah. If yeah. you Living. And if you have a two-bedroom apartment and you share it with somebody else, yep, uh, how yep. much is a bedroom or two-bedroom apartment there in the in the? Uh... I think in a very good living uh, area uh, of outside of the city center, you're gonna pay about five thousand for two bedroom. Oh, okay. So yep. then it becomes very reasonable. Okay. Yep. Yep. And if you uh, if you're really if you're an um, you basically deliver. There, lots of people are in logistics and deliver stuff. You know, yep. you say they make about. Uh, 10,000 uh, RMB, yeah, or 98,000 RMB. Yeah, good months, you can make up to 10,000. Yeah, and how uh, much would they pay if, for an, uh, if they, if you have a, if you're more in the poorer areas, yeah. which are not so luxurious? So, you can get uh, about 1,000 or 2,000 per month. 2,000 a month? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, really cheap. Yeah, if you live in an urban village, yeah, must be. that's the price you pay. Wow, that is not much, okay. And um, if I want to buy my own house, yeah. where, where does it start? Well, um, it starts not with... Not in the center, not in the center, I far think uh, even not in the center, but every center you are looking for starting point of five million. Five million? Yeah. Five for million? For a relatively good size. Yeah, what property. is that? 50 meters? 50 square meters. Yeah. 50. Wow, a million. Okay, so that's uh, five million. Five million. <laughs> five million. That's almost seven hundred thousand dollars or eight hundred thousand dollars. That is, so normal human beings cannot pay for that. No, no, not really. So how does that work? <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And if you came here like um, twenty years ago or ten years ago, and you're lucky, you got a mortgage already. Yeah. That's the advantage, you know. Yes, <laughs> you're paying, huge, huge, you're paying really. at least half the price by then yeah. than now. Yeah. Okay, this is the place where we're going. So this is where they came out. So we don't know how to drive, but we're following all these taxis. We <laughs> hope that we get to the charging place. So here we are, the largest <laughs> charge, fast charging station in the world that's how they promote it people come there's a lot of variation in the uh, kind of cars yeah. <laughs> it's all BYD it's all the same thing and now we're getting out that's not what we want no we're gonna stay here 